Hey everybody, it is a cold Monday this morning here. Uh, we've got minus one temperatures and minus 22 wind chill today. But um, we're uh, plenty warm in the shop, wood stove's going, and as you might have guessed it, I'm into that second set of axles right now, uh, getting them cleaned up. Uh, I have a bench full of T90Cs, uh, transfer cases, uh, uh, <clears throat> ring gears and stuff, and uh, these axles will be driving cross country, so whether my axles are going cross country or just to the grocery store, I rebuild them the same way. So I won't show you the complete build on these because you just saw that CJ two-way setup, but uh, I'll bring you some highlights of these. Um, getting some parts in, used parts, new old stock parts, you name it, and uh, just want to see if anybody needs anything. I'll go over a few parts and. Uh, Right here on the parts washer, I have a set of springs, CJ 2A, 3A, and 3B. Uh, these are 10 leaf fronts, 9 leaf rears, and these were in a vehicle, um, but the guy never drove the vehicle. These are very old, I wouldn't say new old stock, but they're very old uh, replacement springs. They're not uh, they don't have the tapered leaves like the original two ways and stuff. Um, but these are about, uh, I think about 30 years old. Still had the stickers on them. Uh, they were in a chassis that never got finished. Uh, body wasn't on it or anything. The guy was running the greasable fixed end. And on this end he got rid of the original C type shackles and went for a, uh, a bushing in there. Um, they were a little grimy, sandblasted them very lightly just to get all the uh, junk off them and they're sitting in epoxy primer right now. They are a fantastic set of springs. If anybody needs springs for a 2A, 3A, or 3B, uh, these will do you right. Um, not saggy at all, uh, about as nice as a spring you can get. They're not modern junk reproduction stuff. Uh, you know there's a lot of real bad springs out there right now. These are very old replacement springs. Um, so if you need them and you want a high quality spring, good time to get them now. Uh, I'd have next. It's just a little bit of everything today. Things are rolling in. Um, yeah, I never know what I'm going to get. This is a clock kit. I'll try and get you in here and show you how nice this is. The chrome is nice around the bezel. The wiring, the fuse kit, everything is in there. Um, I'm not looking up part numbers. Um, I just don't have the time to look up all the part numbers, all the stuff coming in. The instructions are in there. This is part number. Let's see if I can get you right in there. Hang in there. 932756. I believe, um, and I'm not sure, I believe this is for a early Wagoneer or perhaps a Super Wagoneer. I don't know, but it is in perfect new old stock condition and it is a really nice looking clock so would make a real nice touch on somebody's um, Wagoneer or like I say look up the part number uh, Wagoneer Super Wagoneer maybe I'm not sure um, be a real nice addition if you're missing your clock um, and the box is a little beat up but it's there so let me grab another part and I'll uh, I'll head back over here where there's good light and uh, show you what I got Okay, I have a fuel tank here. New old stock, still has its tags on it. There's a filler neck out the end of it. Get your vent. Part number 9991115. 
I'm not sure where this fits. Um, I did not get into parts books or anything, I believe. This is also an early Wagoneer. Um, I'm not sure, so if anybody's interested, you have to uh, look up the part number. It is in new old stock condition. And a very nice tank. If anybody needs one, um, look up that part number and see if it fits your application. Very nice condition. And hopefully that will make somebody's day. Um, <clears throat> and guys, remember too, I have that new old stock Jeepster Commando hood. And I have two new old stock Jeepster Commando fenders. And I know I'm probably not reaching the right Jeepster Commando guys, but... Um, if anybody knows of any Jeepster Commando sites or uh, anywhere um, and you can post that, you know, spread the word, get the word out. I'm trying to get these parts into the people who really need them into their hands. Uh, so if you know anybody putting a Jeepster Commando together, new old stock hood, two new old stock fenders left and right. Um, I have some used Jeepster Commando doors. Um, some... <coughs> Some parts that would really make a, uh, a restoration go a lot easier if you need those parts. And like I say, there's some weird Wagoneer stuff coming in. Um, and I've got a few more things to show you. Hang in there with me. Okay, guys, not too often I sell shop equipment, but I've um, got this Arbor Press here that I've had for years. And I just recently picked up a larger one. And this one needs to go because I need the floor space. Um, one bad thing about this is there is a chunk taken out here. This broke. This happened before I got it. Uh, it would need a piece there. I've used it. Um, this is mainly, uh, I use this for broaching. Uh, you know, driving the brooch down through a, uh, a part that I'm making. Uh, but you could use it for a million different things. They're super handy in the shop. Um, I couldn't be without one. And this one now is for sale. If anybody's looking for an Arbor Press, it's got your wheel on it for fast adjustment. Oop. And it's got your ratchet right here. So it's been a good Arbor Press. Uh, stand goes with it bunch of steel I got to clean off the bottom but the stand goes with it um, it's a pretty heavy duty unit uh, if anybody wants to get one for their shop or upgrade a smaller one or something like that this is a very good size one it's got an extremely deep throat like I say I used it for broaching because it would um, when I had long broaches you know I could just send them right through the part um, and if you had to you could just machine yourself a new plate there or something um, I don't know. I, I've never had trouble with it, but um, like I say, it is broken. Um, but it didn't affect what I've been doing. So, like I say, I don't often sell shop tools. and I'll tuck it away in the corner if nobody can use it. But um, this is a good time if anybody needs a piece like this. It is available. And just send me a comment if you're interested in anything I have. Okay, hang in there. We'll uh, keep wandering around and uh, show you a few more things I have for sale. Okay guys, what you're looking at here is a set of Bantam trailer tail light panels. They got a little surface rust on them because I made these for a guy and then he decided he wanted to buy a uh, set of Filipino ones after I made them. And I don't make these anymore because uh, I just can't compete with the junk uh, overseas. They're selling them for next to nothing. Uh, I can't even get the material for what they're selling them for. Um, but if you're familiar with the Filipino ones, uh, they are terrible reproductions um, 
the metal is not the same thickness. These are made out of 14 gauge and um, so uh, I won't be making these anymore. So if anybody could use a set of Bantam taillight panels and uh, putting a trailer together or something, I uh, have my very last set here for sale and when they're gone they're gone. I'll just, uh, this is another part I just make for myself when I need them. Uh, there are not too many people that want good American parts, so uh, this is on the uh, list of things I'm not making. But um, they're available. You can get the last set if you need them. Okay, here's that soft top. Well, this is another soft top. Uh, doors, hardware kit, everything like that. Uh, I open this one up and I don't know if I can find it again but uh, when I got it uh, it was in the original box and the mice chewed through the top so the top is junk uh, the doors the hardware the windows things like that are all in very nice shape uh, but the main top does have a a bunch of uh, mouse chew holes through it so pretty disappointing on this top um, I thought it was gonna be a real good one but uh, it's not if anybody can use the rest of the stuff and I know it kinda sucks to get a top without the actual top but uh, if anybody can use the rest of the pieces um, let me know and uh, I'll make a real good deal on this it, it really is a it really sucks that the mice got to this one. But um, you can't have, you know, you just don't know how people are going to store things. And uh, this one really took a beating. So, uh, sadly, uh, it's a mess. But uh, the doors are in nice shape, like I say, in the, in the side windows and the rear window. And the bows and the hardware package. Uh, original Jeep instructions in there. Um, CJ5. Uh, AMC era CJ5 uh, just like the last one I had that one's in, uh, in, in better shape but um, if anybody needs this one it's available uh, it'll be a good deal okay guys I still have a bunch of original Jeep posters uh, sold a bunch of this stuff a while ago I still have a few left here um, bunch of signs still. This is a double-sided uh, Jeep sign. Authorized Willie Steeler on the bottom. Uh, and you remember that one from uh, uh, if you go to my channel video you'll see that one working. Red, white, and blue uh, bulbs in there. Uh, it's in perfect shape. Works real good. Uh, thinning down a little bit. Got a couple little dual bugs up there. Those are getting very hard to find. Original paint on both of them. Um, you know, just a little bit of everything. Every now and again, I just sell a bunch of stuff off. And uh, this is one of those times, you know, just cleaning out a little bit. Sometimes you just, you know, you're swimming in this stuff and uh, it's hard to move around. But um, anybody needs anything, anybody's interested in any books, manuals, literature, anything like that, uh, I'm getting rid of a bunch of stuff again. So uh, send me a comment if you're looking for anything, and uh, I'll do my best to see if I have it. Uh, if you're looking for any of those parts, springs, gas tanks, things like that, Jeepster parts, um, just send me a comment, let me know and uh, we'll get the right parts in the right people's hands so um, thanks for watching and I will catch you up on the next video